I've been teaching myself the Arduino Uno, and I've got one of them right here. I've written a program that does plays music with the help of my son, who's more of a musician than I am. Uh, we've got that up here on screen. First, we'll do a demo, and then we'll go over the code and see how it works. I will trigger this by pushing reset. This is the program that plays music. It's written for the Arduino, and it's in C programming language. It plays music from a notes array, which we'll look at, and the song I chose to program is Ode to Joy. Uh, it plays through a speaker on pin 8, and that's also connected to ground, obviously. Uh, and that's over here in the diagram, so there's the ground. Uh, comes over here, connects to the negative, and then pin 8 goes through a resistor. My speaker is high, uh, is high resistance, has high impedance since I don't need a resistor, but if you're using a regular uh, speaker, you'll probably need a, uh, a resistor. Typically for 8 ohms, I believe they recommend a 1,000 uh, ohm resistor for an 8 ohm speaker. Okay, back over to the code. Uh, note that an interval between notes, so like you have a C and a D note, uh, the space in between the two notes is one over the number of notes in a measure, and that's the, uh, that is the interval I've used typically, although my son adjusted it to make it sound better. Uh, we've included a pitch library. So what I've done here is I have defined, I have given a name to each of the, the notes. So this is the frequency in hertz. And this is the B key in octave zero. This is C in octave one. Uh, it's 33 hertz, uh, C sharp octave one, 35 hertz, and so on and so on. And yeah, that's what all of these are. These are just uh, a name and then the frequency of that note. Back over here. Okay, so that is the pitch lib. Then we have uh, a... Uh, integer. Uh, this is length and it's just a temporary, it's just a working uh, working variable. So I have something to uh, to put stuff in. Okay, so the first thing is here's the array I was talking about and this is the actual notes to the song. So it's like uh, all these are, are uh, except for this note, all of them are in the third octave and it's E, E, F, G, G, etc. Um, and again it's Ode to Joy. So coming down here, uh, this is the length of the note. So this is this three is how long this E3 plays, and this four is a quarter note, and it's how long this E3 plays, another quarter note, F3, etc., etc. Okay, so that's that array. And this final integer array is the interval between notes that I talked about earlier. So between uh, this three, this E3, and this E3 is... Uh, is an interval based on this formula up here. Okay, uh, the I'm only going to do this one time. You could have this repeat forever, but it will drive you crazy. So I uh, only ran the program one time. So down here, the normal void loop that we would do uh, is empty. It just has a comment in it. So the whole program is in the void setup. Okay, so let's go through the void setup. So for integer i, uh, from 0 to less than 62. So there's 62 notes in here. So this will go from 0 to 61 as it should. And then we increment i. We use that temporary variable to store the uh, note length, to create the note length. So this is 1,000 milliseconds divided by the note length of i. So i is 0 through 62, and it's going to walk through this array. Okay. Uh, sorry, it'll walk through this array. Uh, then we will do the um, tone. The, the tone is on pin 8, and it goes through the notes array. So it'll go E3, E3, uh, F3. And then using the value we just calculated up here. Okay, and finally, we'll do a delay between the notes. 
um, the interval, I think is what it's technically called, is 1300. Now, this number you can adjust. Uh, we thought that 1300 worked pretty well. Okay, and divided by the interval, which is this array here, uh, indexed by i. So we're going to just step through each of these arrays. Uh, first element, first element, first element, second element, second element, second element, and so on. And then finally, when we're done with the loop, we're going to uh, shut down the tone generator, make it quiet. Okay, so that's it for the software. Well, yeah, it's pretty simple. There's no more to it. I, I can't scroll down. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it has pretty good tonal quality, and uh, it'll play a more complex song than just, you know, uh, putting out notes with no intervals and no note length. Okay, well, I hope you found that useful and interesting in your Arduino programming.